And I'm going to set default, I'm going to click new, and it's going to make a new wing brake 01. Close that. Go down here to specimen and actually select it. And now we're pretty much ready to go, except for one thing, and that is if I click go right now, this play button, it's going to give me this error which says could not allocate control channel 1 probably allocated to another application, and that's because I have my manual command enabled. Click that off, I have to click this lock. So now I can't edit this, and I can't do the manual command, and only the computer can control this. So, we're ready to go. Everyone keep an eye on the scope. At this point, it's already reached its ultimate strength, but so I could stop if I wanted, or I could just let it keep breaking. But I'll stop for just time. Um, okay, so let me just lower this. Check it out. So once uh, still pretty tough. Yeah. Once you break your thing, you're probably going to actually want to look at the data. And so, on the desktop here, there's a file called specimens. And so we're going to open that up. And then there's pretty much, we haven't cleaned this out in a long time, so it's almost every test ever performed on this machine. But if you remember what yours was named, which was wing break in our case, we go down here, W is find wing break. And then open up the .dat file in Excel, which brings up your data, and it has time, force, on a display.